Hey guys, this is Amber Rain Davis at NotableInk.com and I am here today with a video for Cardstock.com and I'm featuring Basis White Cardstock and I'm creating an envelope today. So this is the first envelope that I've made and I'm gonna use the We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board and you can see that here. So this will make envelopes, bows, and boxes. We're gonna be doing just a standard A2 sized um, envelope today. So if you're not familiar with this board, the first thing you'll want to do is open it up and look at the A2 size or find the size of envelope that you want and then look at the measurements. It calls for a piece of cardstock that's eight and a quarter square. So I just trim this down and you're going to line that up with the ruler up top at three and five eighths inches. You'll line up the left side of the paper with that and then you'll use the scoring tool that comes with the board then you'll go down the envelope um, score line, which is that diagonal one that you see there. It's labeled very clearly. You'll turn it counterclockwise and you'll line up the line that you just scored with this score line on the left here. And I'll point that out in a moment. So you're going to punch, press down the punch and score it again. You'll turn it clockwise again. And then you can see this score line that I just did, I line up with that score line. And you do this four times. We'll score it again. And that will complete the envelope after this last turn. So it's really easy. I was surprised at how easy it is. So oftentimes I like to hang elements off my cards, but sometimes what I'll do when I'm ready to send the card, I'll have to trim those elements off because they don't fit in a standard size envelope. But now that I feel comfortable making an envelope, I can leave those elements on and just create a larger envelope for those specialty cards, which is pretty cool. So now that I have my envelope template here, um, there's a corner rounder at the top and then a slit. There's uh, the one on the right, the punch on the right is to create a slit and that's for your boxes so that you can have a closure. So I'm just gonna do two opposing corners here the other two, it's totally fine if they stay cornered, sharp corner, because they're just going to be folded to the inside of the envelope. So the stamp set that I'll be using today is Alta New, a study in watercolor. And uh, one of my previous videos, I created some cards with that, did a loose watercolor technique. And this time I'm doing it a little bit differently. I don't want to use as much water as I used in my last video because I'm stamping this on basis cardstock, not a watercolor cardstock. So I've just smushed some ink pads down and I'll have the colors listed in my blog. I know the blue is Azurite. I can't remember the name of the green. It's the darkest one in the new green set um, in the spring bouquet set. So I'm just putting that on um, with a wet brush. I'm gonna lightly mist it with a mini mister of water and perfect pearls. And I'm gonna leave my stamp block here. Take a look at how you can see it. It's, it's absorbing into the paper. So I'm just gonna leave it there until I don't see it absorbing anymore. So you can kind of see that there. And I'll give it a press and then pick it up. But I think that's so cool how it just like sucks down into the cardstock. Um, and so we have that there. It was a little flat looking to me and I wanted to add a little bit more shadow to the center. So I'm just putting that on and I didn't like that sharp line I had on the bottom flower. So I'm just adding a little bit more to get more of an organic shape. So you can stamp it as many times as you need or add as many colors as you'd like. I'll go ahead and splatter some ink on both the green and the blue. And I added a little extra water to my brush to make sure it was juicy so that I could get some splatter to it. And um, that'll just add a little more interest to the background of the card. I'm really only gonna be adding the stamping and the tangling to the left side of the card so that I can write the address on the right side. And the first step for the tangle that we're going to do is we're just going to aura or outline the stamped images. So I'm not going to show all of it because there's definitely parts in here where you can't see what I'm drawing. Um, so after you've outlined the image, you're going to come in and add a pattern called fescue, which is these little plant-like tendrils. And they're kind of almost like a little parentheses with a dewdrop on the end, and you just fill in the dewdrop. So we'll add a couple more of those. 
have them going in different directions, have them more curved, less curved. And then I'm gonna add what we call weight to the kind of like inside corners of those where it meets the outline. I'm just gonna draw parentheses and then fill it in. And then I'm gonna outline all of that. So including those fescue and the tendrils, I'm gonna do a complete outline all the way around. After I'm done with that outline, I'm gonna add some circles or some orbs. And if there's any negative space in between the orb and the outline, I'll go ahead and fill that in for some additional contrast. I'm gonna add another layer of fescue, do another outline, and I'll repeat this whole process a total of three times to have three layers of outline fescue and orbs. And that'll just give it more of a weighty feel. So after I complete this one, I'll do the other one that you can see there. Here's the envelope. And so now we need to put our envelope together. So I'm just gonna be using some eighth inch score tape. This is a really strong adhesive. I love it and it's perfect for this type of project. Um, so I'm just gonna trim it off. You can, it's totally terrible, you can tear it, but I'm weird that way. I don't like to tear it, I like to cut it. Um, so I'm just gonna put this on. Just make sure that it doesn't overhang that side panel there because if it does, then your card is going to get stuck to it. So keep it um, localized to those side flaps and then fold up the bottom and your envelope is complete. Pretty cool. So I'm really excited. That was so fun to, to create my own envelope and then decorate it. So. This design um, that I stamped on here was inspired by a card that I did for the alternate release, so I'll probably pair it with that card and send it off to someone special um, since they both go together. So I found that the basis cardstock was perfect to create an envelope. It was thin enough that I was able to get good creases and fold it easily, but thick enough that it's gonna be sturdy in the mail and hold up well. Um, I also felt like it was really good to tangle on because it has a little more texture than Nina and it, there's, there's a little bit more tooth so the pin works nicely on the paper. This pattern that I've done today is inspired by the new Zentangle project pack which you can see on Zentangle.com and this is from their cartouche series so if you're more interested in that you can check that out at Zentangle.com or also take a look at my website for more information on tangling. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. So thank you so much for stopping by. I'll link some other videos at the end. And if you liked this video, please subscribe and like so that YouTube shares it out with other people. Have a great day.